welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. For those of you who are new here, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. And I hope that you'll subscribe and join our little tribe here on YouTube. Um, for those of you who are new, my husband Eric and I recently went through IVF and we're currently pregnant with our first baby and we are 11 weeks and just so thrilled. It's been a long journey to get here and we are just really excited. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my IVF must-haves. So for those of you who are gonna be going through IVF soon, I know when I was going through IVF and before, like while I was prepping for IVF, I really wanted to know what I needed, how I needed to be prepared because it, it was a scary thing to jump into. But I want you guys to know that you can totally do it and I'm gonna share a few things with you that will help make the process easier. At least it did for me. And I'm so excited because today's video is a collab video with Anna from Midwest Mom. If you guys aren't already following her, after you watch this video, go head over to her video. I'll link her video below and subscribe to her, check her out. She is an awesome YouTuber. She's great in the infertility community. She gives lots of good advice and has been sharing her story. So she is actually pregnant now with twins and I think she's about 22 weeks. Uh, her story is a little bit different than mine, but we did go through IVF around the same time. So when I was, when she was going through her journey, I would watch her channel like religiously because I felt like it gave me the information I needed for what my next steps were in my process. So I love her, she's super sweet, go check her out. Um, again, I'll link her video below, so that way you can not only see what my IVF must-haves were, but you can check out Anna's as well and get all the info you need and be as prepped as you can be for your own IVF cycle. get into it. I'm going to start in no particular order. However, I think I'm going to show my like number one must have. If you're going through IVF, I'm going to show my number one most important thing at the very end. So stay tuned for that. Okay. So the first thing I have written down as a must have for me was a notebook. So I have this handy dandy little notebook, super easy to carry around with me. Um, and really light and I would just carry this around and write down all of my like thoughts and feelings and just document the whole process because this is such a huge deal. You're investing so much money, you're investing so much time and I'm like, it, IVF feels like a part-time job at least, if not a full-time job. Um, and I just really wanted to remember what I was feeling and um, kind of the step-by-step -step process and everything. That's another reason why I started my YouTube channel because I wanted to document this time in our life. It was just, it's kind of a unique thing that we were going through. I also wanted to um, be able to just look back and see how far I've come. So, and I also thought this was great therapy too. So a notebook was one of my must-haves. So for my second item that I wanna show you guys, this one has a lot to do with egg retrieval. So. Egg retrieval can be a pretty hard recovery for some people, you know, depending on how much you stimulate and how many eggs they get, you know, it can be an easy recovery for some, but sometimes it's harder on others. And for me, I felt like it was a, the recovery was a little bit more uncomfortable than I expected. Um, we did get 22 eggs and that's quite a lot. So my body was kind of uh, tired, I guess, from being stimulated that much and just there was the surgery. It's not like a very intense surgery, but your body does need time to recover and you also need to really help yourself um, give your body the best tools, nutrition, that sort of thing to recover. Um, and like I know Anna, her recovery was pretty tough because she ended up getting OHSS, which is a very, not very common, but it does happen. It's where you get over stimulated, over, yeah, it's like hyper stimulation syndrome or something. Um, so you really wanna take care of your body. And so 
one of the things that they tell you to do is drink a lot of water, drink a lot of like Gatorade or eat high sodium foods, and that will help with the bloating and just make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, so instead of drinking Gatorade, because I don't really like like Gatorade, I may have drank it a little bit, but um, I really enjoy coconut water. So I got one of these. This Taste Nirvana brand is my favorite one. And I actually bought a big jar of this. They sell them in bigger jars. This one has pulp. They also have one with like aloe and just plain like no pulp or aloe or whatever. You can get really any coconut water or Gatorade, um, but you do definitely want to dr drink a lot of liquids electrolytes, salty foods, that sort of thing. That will really help with the bloating and help it help your recovery a little bit. Gosh, I the recovery for me was a little tough um, after egg retrieval. I just felt so uncomfortable and so bloated. Um, but I do feel like when I was, you know, trying to take care of myself and really rest and get a lot of liquids, it helped me recover a lot faster. So speaking of bloating and egg retrieval. Honestly, like when I think of IVF, all I think about is bloating and being uncomfortable. And so my, I guess this is my third thing. My third item would be to get comfy, stretchy pants. And like even, um, I have some sweatpants, but even those kind of cinched at the waist and just, it was just uncomfortable. I was tempted to buy maternity leggings at that point because you get so bloated like your ovaries just grow so big <laughs> so you really want to wear have some really comfy cozy um, clothing and I did IVF in the winter in February so it was nice to wear like sweatpants and be warm so these I got at Old Navy I'll try to link them below if they still have them but um, I love these because they're warm but they're actually like uh, sorry you can't really see them but they're actually like just, they're not really like sweatpants. They're kind of like, I felt a little bit more <laughs> dressed up, I guess, um, than sweatpants. Um, sweatpants kind of make me feel homeless and these were just like a little bit cuter <laughs> and they have pockets. But anyway, I like how the band was kind of thick and you could drawstring it so you can make it as tight as you want. Um, so yeah, these are, a must have for me. You need to have comfy clothes. Honestly, if you want to get maternity leggings, I have some now and I wish I would have just got maternity leggings because man, that would have been more like really comfy. These were pretty good though. So this next item is also for helping you through egg retrieval. Um, but this can help you through all of IVF really like, cause like I said, you're pretty much bloated through all of IVF. The whole process, you're just going to feel very uncomfortable. But um, I feel like the egg retrieval part of the process was kind of, I think maybe the hardest part as far as recovery goes. Um, but honestly, you must, this is like a huge must have for anyone's going, but honestly, this is a huge must have for anyone going through IVF and that is a heating pad. So I got this at Target, I think. I think it was like 30 bucks, 29.99, something like that. Um, it's, it has an automatic timer, so after two hours it turns off, um, and you can do low, medium, and high. I mostly did high. Um, I bought this, like, the day, I think the day before egg retrieval, because I heard that you'd really want a heating pad, and I wish I would have bought it before doing IVF at all, because as your ovaries are stimulated, they're growing, and you get uncomfortable, like I said, you're uncomfortable. So the heat from the heating pad really helps to ease and um, ease that bloat and make you feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, the heating pad is also great for when you do injections, especially the progesterone and oil injections. If you guys have to do those, you're gonna want a heating pad that will help you in the beginning. Um, when you first start doing the injections, I would put this on the injection site to warm it up and then I would do the injection and then I would put the heating pad back on the injection area. And that would help the oil to move through the muscle and it would help with avoiding lumps and stuff. So honestly, you could use this heating pad throughout the whole IVF process. And if you don't have a heating pad, trust me, you need to get one. Like stop what you're doing after this video, before you start IVF, promise me you will get 
a heating pad, you will not regret it. And it's like, honestly, I feel like this is like the best 30 bucks I ever spent. Um, I would sleep with this because it has a two hour um, setting. But when I slept with it, I would put it on low or medium because I didn't want it too hot. Uh, but yes, heating pad guys, you gotta get a heating pad. All right, so I told you I was saving my number one most important must have item while you're going through IVF, at least for me, for the end. So we are at that point right now, I'm gonna share with you. I think the number one most important item or thing or whatever you can have while you're going through IVF that you need is support. You need somebody to support you. And I highly suggest that it's somebody who has been through IVF. Um, somebody who knows what you're going through and who can empathize with all the emotional, physical pains and struggles that you'll be faced with. Um, I'm not trying to like scare you. IVF, you can do it. You can totally do it. But I will say that having a support system of friends that I've met here on YouTube, friends that I have in my daily life outside of YouTube and social media that have been through IVF, that was crucial for me. I don't know how I would have been able to go through it um, as gracefully as I did, even though I didn't feel like I was that graceful, but I can't imagine how it would have been had I not had someone to talk to, someone to ask questions, to just vent to. Um, and I feel like a lot of you have been there for me and I really, really appreciate you. Um, that's why I love, like I said, watching Anna's channel because I just felt like she knew exactly what I was going through. And in her community, I was able to meet other people too that um, were going through the same thing and just, I was able to get advice and um, understanding and you really, you need that, you guys. That is, I think, the most important, most crucial, must have thing that you need while you're going through IVF. Um, so reach out, find support groups like on Facebook. I'm part of a Facebook support group for infertility, but there's a lot of, you know, like IVF, um, people that are going through IVF in that group. Um, and then find, I mean, you can talk to me. I can be your IVF buddy um, who can understand what you're going through. So if you are about to go through an IVF cycle, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I'd love to connect with you and cheer you on. Um, be sure to check out Anna's video. I will have that linked in the description box below. Tell her hello from me. If you're from Anna's channel, thank you so much for tuning into my video. And I hope that this video was useful for you guys. Gave you some kind of tips and things that you will need for when you go through your IVF cycle. Um, if there's something that I didn't mention and some of you have been through IVF, go ahead and write that in the comments below so other people can get some ideas of things that were must-haves for you. And be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and follow me over on Instagram. I'd love to connect with you over there as well. And thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.